All right, let's uh let's jump in. Let's see if I remember how to do the personality test. <clears throat> and I'm playing rando, so English with nodes versus need to remember this. Lawyer kicks. Waterfall. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. It'd be good. Gotta remember not to push the boulder. You know, in case I was tempted to do that. Not this run. Soon, but not this run. Started making some <clears throat> some hero only notes today. Only about halfway through, though. Maybe a little less. Depends on how much time I need to spend analyzing the grind. If any. How do I change this layout? Talk to Aliahan King all summer. Thumbs a little bit stiff the past couple days, so some D pad errors. No big deal. Four, but we got eight hit points. Nope. Seven. Tough guy. I'll reroll that. Man. Thumbs bothering me more than I thought. Twenty tough guy, all right. One tough guy with 13 strength. Big beefy warrior. All right. 
Let's go. Even Green Girl didn't get in our way. Short and herb, I think. I think we'll be at three fourteen, three twelve. Yo, hey Darko. Thank you very much for the host. How did your run end up? way to handle that. Oh well. Yo, hey SK. Thumb bothering me so much. Nah. Nah, we're not gonna fight this. This one's okay. He stole something. I think it was an herb. Ooh, no encounters on that floor. It's pretty rare. Wonder what the odds of that one are. Maybe I should have taken the N. Well, too late now. Because I'm not level 2 yet on the hero, and I've used a fair amount of MP on the mage, but I haven't really been checking it. for one fight. Not this one, though. Not this one, though. Well, 
Maybe we just don't get that one fight. Probably should have used an herb in that menu. Or herbs. Oh well. You can use them after. That's probably fine. Something nice like a single caterpillar would be decent. Well, single caterpillar, I guess I only have one. And there are uh, maybe two bunnies. Two bunnies would be decent. Don't die, warrior. We should be safe this turn, but... Is running impossible? Running is fine. Well, running is fine for now. Hopefully running on the way to the pyramid is fine. Should not fight this guy, but... Oops! I had to attack with the mage and defend with the hero. Uh... with everybody. Somebody kill this thing. I'm not gonna kill it, am I? I knew this was a bad idea with only one Mera. Oh, I didn't even... Wait, I've got MP still. What was I looking at then? Well, I don't know what I did. Did I not use Mera on turn one? I don't know. Whatever. I botched that badly, but <laughs> we got level two, so it's okay. I don't know what I did. Either I forgot to cast it, or I was looking at Hero's MP instead of Mage's MP. Might have been what I did, looked at slot 4. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Fought the dumb Caterpillar, didn't die. Burned a thousand herbs for it. to resist the rando instinct to go pick up all of the junk. Especially because I was watching a non-rando VOD earlier that picks up all the junk. Only one sleep. Am I going to pick up the junk? No. Never junk. But I was watching, uh... Hero only. Bob. Today. Taking some notes. And that picks up a lot of random stuff. Oh, uh, this can be scary. Come 
on Mage John. Okay. Wiping out before Ocelom is the worst. I will get the Fur Hoods, though, in a race. Both of them. There's both. DQ3 Famicom run is also being run by Crimson. Oh. Okay. Blame Cowie or Eve or uh, High Spirits most likely. One thing that I might do during the race, though, is go to Isis first, depending on if uh, people die. Family computer. Yep. Uh, please don't kill everyone. This actually sucks, like, going through this many herbs. Because, like, if I wipe out... I'm not gonna have much to get back here. What's the play, then? I guess if I wipe, the play is to go to Romilly and pick up the, some of the junk. And sell it. And buy wings and herbs with it. Don't wipe, he says. only four hit points, but we're going to do that. At least we got the button. I feel better about it hitting the button, regardless of what happens now. If you hit all four buttons, then no. If you hit fewer than four of them, then yes. It's the same reason we avoid the stairs in the middle when hitting the buzz buttons the first time, but encounter cancel after. So if you hit all four, the door stays open, even if you die. Well, you don't hit the reset button if you die in a race, though. <laughs> My last run, I, uh... The last run I did, that happened, too. The last run I did, I died. After hitting the, uh... 
the buttons. Had like a 2358 magic key or something like that. That was the run that ended up being a 305. It's like a 24 minute magic key and a level 22 buy kill and it was still a 305. I beat my PB's second half. <laughs> After not playing for months. Sometimes the game just gives you good luck, you know? Hello, Evil Ash. Practice fun. Mm-hmm. No. No, you don't know what it's like for the game to give you good luck? Alright, maybe it's not good luck then. Maybe it's just good play. Forget the 36 holy waters yet. Fourteen. Twenty-three. Thirty-two. Forty. I guess we stop there. Buy a little bit more in Portoga. Lose to stack. Was my thief tough guy? I think so. I'm gonna double check though. Yep, tough guy. Meow Hio. Hello, Rotoast. <laughs> Hopefully this goes to the hero still. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. status for its unintended purpose. Um. Okay. Rune staff. Strength seed. Agility seed. Is this AIM? I'm going to set my away status to the song I'm listening to all the time.
All right. No encounters there. That's pretty nice, too. Angsty My Chemical Romance song lyrics. It's funny. I don't know any of their music. I don't know that I ever really did song lyrics. Song names, yes. Lyrics, uh, you know, I probably did, whatever. Not My Chemical Romance, though. Oops, 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 tidy. Saw them live once, that's cool. I like seeing bands live, even if I don't know much of their music, or even sometimes bands that I don't really like. Seeing them live can sometimes still be awesome. There's something about, like, the sound of live music. There's also bands that I like that I saw live and it made me kind of not like them anymore. I think Disturbed is my go-to example of that. Uh, that didn't put there on one of those herbs, but whatever. The Roxy? That sounds familiar. I've never been to Rhode Island. Well, I've been to Rhode Island once. But... I shouldn't have fought this. Lots and lots of places called it. That's probably also true. I guess that fight wasn't as bad as I thought. Black Label Society. Kind of indifferent to them, although it's been a while since I've listened to them. It's funny you mentioned that, because I was actually just thinking about listening to them a couple days ago. I've never, like, I've never been the biggest Zack Wilde fan, which is probably the reason that I'm indifferent to them. Like, don't get me wrong, he's an incredibly talented guitarist. Just like, never been a huge fan anyway, I don't know. And I, I just, I don't really know most of their music. I know a few of their songs that got some popularity, like Stillborn. Um, I think that's the only one that, like, the name comes to mind, but I'd probably recognize a few others if I heard them. Speaking gibberish. The album Mafia. All right, we'll do. Right after John Bag got shot. Ah. Uh, that's cool. I mean, not cool that time got shot, obviously, but the ballad thing. I will definitely check it out. Like I said, I don't really know. I don't really know a lot of their music. Thank you. 
one of those things where, like, I wasn't a huge fan of the Zack Wilde Ozzy stuff either. Of course, I've also never been a huge Ozzy fan, so everything kind of plays into each other. And because of that, I never really gave Black Label Society a huge chance. Rogue Knight, please! It's the third one I found. But of the Ozzy stuff, the only stuff I really like is the Rhodes era stuff. I should probably heal at some point, but... You're fine. Healing in this place is overrated. How crazy am I? Hmm. I guess we keep going. Can I make it to the end without having to heal? The question. Okay, we got Hyato. That's good. No Skara. Half step away. Only one poison. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm all right. Last night was a bit rough. I got really, really tired and um, a little feverish. Like, my brain felt foggy all night into this morning. And I'm, I'm feeling mostly better now. I'm still a little bit, like, a little fever. Not really feverish, but still, like, warm cold kind of thing but doing all right uh, yeah that's right glad to glad to have it done with regardless Sucks. Now Hero doesn't get expel. I'd kind of rather it be the mage than the hero. Walking to Baharata without expel sucks.
Oh well. We'll make it work. Hey, we're on PB pace. Can you believe it? And yes, this is actually comparing against PB, but it's fine. We're not going to PB. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. VOD title is going to be, you're never going to believe what happened in Garuna Tower. Three weird tricks for a free DQ PB. Who's the double body armor? Uh... I'm kind of considering putting the hero not in front since he died. I really don't want to reorder twice though. Three times. Um. Um, I don't know. Just hit it. Oh, I was thinking of casting a spell. I should have done probably Gira. Yeah, that would have made sense. I don't know, maybe these dogs resist it. Just don't want to get surrounded. That's the reason that not having a spell on hero sucks is for that fight right there. Oh my god. Two steps. Thank you. 
Maho no Tate. Thought it was interesting. The hero only run buys four spider webs here. I didn't really watch any of the grind, the first grind segment, so I'm not sure if he uses them there or where they get used, but. Four spider webs just seems like kind of a, a weird number. Fifty-eight hit points, level nine. It's not super great. I would have to play Kandar two a little bit differently than normal, unless I get a big HP here. Nope. Normally I put hero in second. But I'm gonna have to do hero in third for this fight because of the XP difference. Which doesn't really matter for the fight itself. It matters a little bit for the menus on healing. Um... I mostly just need to remember to switch back afterwards to uh, make sure the rest of my menus don't get messed up. All right, trade these, quit this, use this. And this. And herbs. Lots of herbs. Oh no. Oh no, what? I guess with increase, it's probably going to be fine regardless, but... On. One, two, three. I don't like healing on this fight ever, but Warrior just took a billion. That was all missed. Behoing me. Come on. Good, you targeted the dead one. Oh, 
I didn't want to use Montan there because, um... Heroes a little short on MP. Thanks to the level. And, um... In a race, I like to keep Hero having a little bit of MP for this fight for safety. Gira, I mean Fireball, I mean Sizz, oh god. I'm glad I'll be playing and not listening, even though I'll probably be listening to. I assume that I'll hang out in Discord on the call with you. Whoa. Uh... Oh, I should've done Ice Bolt on turn two. Well... It's alright. Why isn't SK playing? You know... Dick's asking the real question. The trick is to race games that everybody's bad at, and then nothing matters. Oh, I should have probably healed from the mage, huh? Oh, well. Like Mole Mania, exactly. And like Super Metroid. The problem with Super Metroid is every time I play Super Metroid, I want to get good at it. I'm not, and I probably never will be. Warrior's rocking though. 130's hit points already. Lost a little bit of time there because of the level, but... 48 candor too. It's still, like, okay. By the end of May. You don't need to put, like, a time frame on it or anything. We'll get you to do it in October when we're all in person at Limit Break. Yes, you do. Is it so we shut up about it? <laughs> you work well with deadlines? Alright. Just putting my party back in the order that I'm used to. Even though it really doesn't matter. Remember, there's no jingle here. I need to decide what I want to work on next for a speed game after DQRTA Marathon. Because I was originally thinking, um... Final Fantasy 1 NES. The two fighter, two red mage route. And I do want to do that, but... Part of me is... Part of me is thinking of doing, a. Uh, Tiki 3 here only instead, because that could be a submission for things, and I probably won't submit Final Fantasy 1 NES to anything, unless I 
really enjoy it or get good at it. DQ9 over with? I don't know. I only finished one run, and there's so much time to improve on it. I'd like to finish a second one. So... I would say it's probably not done. Shockingly, no one takes it. Um, I'll probably continue to do DQ9 on weekends, but not um, not every weekend. Yeah, Diener told me about that one. The only thing is, SK, I, is that, like, if you're actually up next to the water, or the well, you just end up going into the well anyway. So I probably didn't even need to do it there. It's... I just wasn't sure. But yeah, the manual search. Even you have standards. FF1 Rando is pretty fun. But I think it's I think I find it fun more because it fixes all the broken everything. So it's kinda like playing a different game. But I never would want to like seriously run it or anything, you know? No randomizer would Ever serious take seriously. If I were gonna take any rando seriously, it'd probably be the DQ3 one if it gets like better balanced. Only because I like this game so much, but even that. Don't don't think it'll happen. Always get the encounter right off the boat. Where the music is loading and it lags. Lose half a second of lag on this getting into this encounter. Condor. Find a Boshi me. Oops. Alright, Thirsty Pitcher Menu.
All right, that was good. That was good. Tons of moth powders. I don't know why I've got so much money. That's a quick encounter. You guys don't all need to own me. Mad Ox. Well, we lost another minute on that segment. I don't really know why. I guess just because of those two encounters outside. Probably should have staffed on the ox. Yeah. Doesn't like really matter. Just the monkeys resist it, so it's like hitting two hit at one zero one or two versus always hitting the ox. Wasn't expecting that first whip hit. Kill one though. Trying to clear out this trash moderately efficiently is dumb. All this trash is awful. Warrior's at a spot that we can already kill him off, though. He's at, like, 147 or something. So, he can die whenever. Whenever there's a good chance. I don't mind if he gets one more level, either. But, certainly not required. Okay, just don't some needle the bird. Okay. Lame. Mm. 
don't know if I really needed to use that second one on the mage, but... I hate taking chances at low levels. Nice. Hero and Thief going first against that group is ideal. No Bolt Staff animation. Clear him up. Shenron of the boys. So the one on the left probably only has three at points, which means two left, which means one left. Never mind, he's dead. Get him. Yeah. Watch these guys try to blaze themselves to death. Alright, well, whatever. It's still a good fight. I probably should have just attacked him and been done with it. But they were both at full, I think, so there was a reasonable chance that I could have gotten a better outcome. It's all good. boys. Oof. Four, four, three hit points for the three in the middle. So this idiot's still got three left. Yeah, and he's gone anyway. Get him. Got him. Good start indeed, yeah. Shenron and boys are just throwing themselves at. Oh, never mind. <laughs> See ya. It's uh, funny. DQ3, you can't make this game up sometimes. Boom. Four more. All right, time to kill off Hero. No, not really. Maybe at 17. If I want to be really crazy. 
this is going well enough that it's like, do I go for a PB instead of do I go for a no reset? I'm gonna throw one. out we got two bum, 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 ba -da -bum. nothing but metals like seriously nothing but metals <laughs> Throwing two more powders here, but when is that three, four? Can't wait for this run to PB. Well, I'm probably going to save Scum by kill, so it's probably not going to. Because this is meant for race practice, despite how it might look. Let's check uh, XP here. 2,000 away. Menu, menu, menu. I've been fighting nothing but medals for so long that I'm like, where is everything in my inventory? <laughs> Take both if we get it, but it's gonna put me on the high side of XP. But I've got enough Leeway. Barely. Can ignore the gold there. I don't have like a I don't normally have a sage split, I just recently added it, so it's nothing to compare against. But yeah, one ten sage is really good. I think my PB sage was like 115? 114? 115? Something in that range. Twenty-four Mage Warrior. I normally plan for it to be like a a decent run, like an average run, to be ten minutes between Sage and Mage Warrior. But it can certainly be more or less. 
pretty variable segment, so. And again, I'll probably save Scum, which will lose probably a couple minutes unless XP ends up working out very nicely. So. Don't really care. Right, this impossible menu. I bought more powders than normal, and I've got 20 billion of them left over. Is there a part of me that just wants to roll by kill right now? Yeah, a little bit. I have enough powders that honestly I might. Going to 22 isn't that big of a deal. Right, exactly, Callie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well... Mm -hmm. You know... I want to kill off Hero here, but I'd rather just get as many medals as I can. Did I just get three needle hits on that one fight? It sure is a video game. Oh, they ambush me. Same one. Okay, but like, can we actually kill Hero?
Okay. That's not level 21, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Uh, we're gonna bounce. Uh, oh no. Keep the whip equip. That's wrong. Uh, I don't know. Uh... Uh... Just kill the monkeys? Nice free buy kill. save. Oh, if I were RNG manipping, you'd think I'd get by kill. <laughs> me, is it? Nope. I'm not gonna save. Again. I'm laughing. I'm smiling. Knock someone back into the wagon. Thanks, DQ5. Hey, there we go. Fourth try is a charm. I do now. Uh, that. Put that. A little sloppy, but because my inventory is full of moth powders and I don't know what to do. Actually. Get those out of there.
Now, I just need to run like this in the race on Saturday. And then maybe I'll have a chance of beating Darko and Pop. Maybe. Better luck winning Lotto. That might be true. Oop. That's an early encounter. I do have enough MP for one more heal more here. I need to heal again, it'll be herbs. Daichi no Yoroi. You never know that I have tiptoe on. getting crit by those executioners is a good meme. Actually kind of scary. Crit for half my health. So if two crits would kill me. Wiping out in this run, in this cave, would be hilarious to me. <laughs> this run is already hilarious to me. Go revive, revive our dudes. I had to think about that for a second, but yes, the two that are dead are both the dudes. Sage's inventory being empty is so weird. I keep wondering, like, should she have something that she doesn't? But I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Pretty sure she's just fine. We sort it all here anyway. Just trying to think if there's anything. Um, sorting a single person's inventory works a little bit differently than sorting all. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that she would have had that it would have... Kicked off to the bag, but... Nah. You don't know where to go. It's always Ed and Bear. Can we complete the meme with the 2% Hagu here? No. Maybe it's 1%. It's really low. My hands are cold.
Has my ting shipped yet? I haven't gotten a notification for it. So I don't think so. Is yours? Well, see you, mage. That sucks. Kazav and revive. Thought about going to Romali and grabbing the assassin dagger. And I needed to go somewhere to revive anyway, but. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Is give herbs. May as well heal with some too. But mage needs some for this fight and the next. We have five. That's probably good. All right. What do I sell here? am I forgetting? Uh, uh, drawing a blank. I guess I just sell powders. Maybe it's because I killed like nothing. I didn't forget something, did I? I don't think so. Gonna be losing some good time on this segment. Between that selling and the reviving. That's what happens when you only kill metals, I guess so. Still I was thousand short. I did have 15 moth powders left, though, so, you know. All right. <laughs> I saw that increase. I 
Uh, okay. Neither one hit, that's pretty rare. Three misses. Hello? Let's turn it safe. Um, do I need another increase? I think I'm okay. I want to get sap off, but... Good, first try sap. Okay. Stop hitting the mage. Jeez. Can you believe how much this mage has been targeted? I can't. No, he shouldn't, no. I don't think. Pretty sure it's the standard 40, 30, 20, 10. But I'm not 100% positive. Uh. Okay, where am I going? Kazav, no annuals, Elf Town, right there. Whatever. We're through him. Really, the time loss was from having to go away to revive. Is it good? I don't know. I don't know how long that really takes. 30 to 40 seconds. And, um... And all the time loss in... Lancel Cave. That was awful. Two, three. It's okay. I'm going to sell one more powder. I think I'm a little short. Oh, I wasn't sure. I do not have this gold number memorized. Uh, I'll trade this for that. Give this to you for that. I'm done a bit. That's outside. Forgot she had to cast that. Thanks to my mage being dead in the raw cave, raw mirror cave. Am I allowed to call this run a disaster? Cause it feels like one.
<laughs> no. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong place. That's my fault. Right as I was about to use the lamp. Well, I guess that works out. Does not. Uh, I should use it. I might actually have waited too long. I should have probably used it earlier. Now it's gonna mess up when it turns back today. That was sloppy. Well. Bad judgment call, I guess. Could have used it a few steps earlier. I don't really know when the ideal spot to use it on that walk is. Turns back to day, we use it. Metals were far from mean. That is very true. Really the only thing, though, so far. Three. One. Marathon setup. Oh, is HS talking about commentary? Freezing. My feet are cold, my hands are cold. Ashalam. Off to the Necrogond. Nothing can go wrong in the Necrogond. What? What? That was weird. I had stopped... Pushing. I pushed down twice, and like one didn't register. And then I had stopped pushing Turbo X, and it still went off. It's a very awkward menu. Maybe it's because of like the music changing or something. Maybe it was laggy. Not a huge deal, just. <clears throat> annoying mistake. Making a lot of those little mistakes. Nothing run ending, just. Slight slop here and there. Oh, uh. 
I'll fight one instead of these. I don't usually like fighting two trolls. I do want to get the Mage Warrior some XP here. Thought about taking an extra two steps. Let's see if it bites me. Yep, it bites me. Oh, I should have done Gira. Oh well. Uh. Everything's fine. We will probably be taking the safety in in Seminosa before going on to Orochi. I've already burned through as much or more MP as the Necrogon normally takes. I don't know, maybe I'll just use the ring. Oops. Hey. I don't want to use the ring now. I actually don't know what, what to do against these guys. Uh, I meant to hit Aruka. It doesn't matter, I got stealth spelled. Oh my god. None of them? None of them? These guys do go to sleep. It's not high, but I'm pretty sure it's 30%. And I missed six of them? Seven of them? Ugh. What a waste of time. Should really hear a warrior, but... That, 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 that was early. You didn't see me, okay. We're not going to heal Warrior. He's just going to be fine. We're going to take the Salmonosa in. He'll get all his health back there. Thank you. 
We are going to lose at least a minute on this split. I think. Alright, sap, attack, attack, by kill hero. Oh, I wanted to surround. Well, we're playing it aggressively, I guess. That was the nicest Orochi one in existence. Increase, defend, defend, increase. But she tastes good on a skewer. This is okay. Good. I guess we did not lose time on this segment. Thank you, Orochi One. Warriors getting big HP still. Orb. One fifty one Orochi kills, really nice.
gonna be a meme if this PBs with a fourth try by kill. I'm like, I'm nervous already, because I've got Baramos coming up. Um, but like, I also don't care. Like, the intention for this run was really to be a race practice run. Like, I am both attached and not attached to this run. I'm nervous about my play, but I won't be upset if it dies. I guess is... What I mean? Partially attached? Mm-hmm. It's fine. We'll just do King Sword Cut and then we'll get a sub 250. Not actually doing that. Gonna use my bathroom break here as soon as I talk to the shrine girl demon thing. They're weird wavy horns. Sprinted to the bathroom. <laughs> Not want to lose any time. All right. Dharma, leaf. Uh, yeah, yeah, use these, use these. I always have agility seeds there because I don't use the one before Kandar 2. And I specifically do it, partial, well, partially do it, to turbo into that menu there. I actually often mean to use them before boss troll, but never actually remember to. This 
Kaiju Naha. Kaiju Naha. Karitama, and then go get our warrior back, trade around some junk, and then go fight Baramos. I'm going to save also before going into Baramos' castle. I trade around the junk. Only because if something happens, it's faster to like. It can be faster to reset if somebody dies. And it's what I would do in a race. Let's go. Never have I been so worried about a dinosaur. Fighting Baramos while Rusty is like not incredibly ideal. Annoying. Uh, we're just gonna run. Oh my god. Don't die. Alright, well Sage is gonna need to use some rings before Baron Mouse. That sucks. It sucks because of the slow fight. I don't really care about using the rings. I care more about triple run fail. A lot of time in that fight, a lot of time healing. My Jin oh no. Nori no Yubiwa. Thing I never remember the name of. Uka no Kabuto. Go. One, two, three. Stop here. Okay. Okay. 
chaos hit on the sage? Oh no. You better go to sleep. You did not go to sleep. Oh, you didn't get stop spelled either. Uh... Uh, this is bad. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, that's... that's that. Uh... Sage didn't even wake up from confusion. I can't beat this without Sage, right? He's... Well, that runs over. So much belief, I know. I can't believe that Sage um, stayed confused twice through getting hit. That's really irritating. But when Hero died, it was basically over from there. Probably should have defended on him on Marizoma's turn. Maybe I should have wiped myself out and, uh,. Revived with leaves or something rather than resetting, but. Because I've got to do that menu again now. I got this encounter again? Go away. Go away! Both times I've had a first floor triple run fail now. Can we unparalyzed? Ever? Ever? Thank you. Well. I'm more and more disaster by the minute. Hate to see it, sure do. Well, if we really hustle, we might be able to still sub three. We'll see. It's unlikely. But it's possible. Kind of a pretty fast Baramos fight, though. That fast Baramos fight that we actually win. Ugh. Chaos is like the worst. I mean, obviously, Bashiguru is worse, but. You often intentionally take turns where he can cast chaos, so sometimes you just have to take a chance on it. Oh my god. Go away. Go away. Effing run. DQ3 sure knows how to make a person mad, doesn't it? Did I use Tormana? I don't know. What happened? Baramos? Baramos confused the Sage and then Sage didn't, didn't get unconfused for two turns in a row. And then Hero died.
Might take a flame breath here. Oh no, that's right. If we do, it's not a huge deal though. Oh, he's back to sleep. If he goes to sleep again, I'm just gonna attack through. Please just go to sleep one more time. Uh... Oh god, are you serious? Sage got outsped with three speed ups? He's dead, right? God, that was dumb. Sage got outsped after three Pirimu. Not believe that. Although I can believe that more than Sage getting confused and then not waking up for two turns in a row. So we lost 545. It's about right. Like I said, it's about a five minute loss to wiping to Baramos. It's not like. It's bad, but not necessarily run ending. I mean, it is after a certain point, but it's probably the end of this run. My PB has a good dark world. Uh, there is time to be saved in Zoma's castle and on Zoma, but I don't think there's two and a half minutes worth. I still have to go get another leaf also. Mom locks her keys in the car. Oh boy. I locked my keys in my car once when I was like... 18? That kind of sucked. It was in kind of a sketchy area, so I just kind of had to call AAA and wait for him, but... It was not like the best place to lock your keys in your car. Is that like a work training thing? Oh uh, yeah, I think I remember you telling me that, Callie. That sucks. At least no one's probably gonna bother your car at the airport. You'll be on time to the next one. A good question. Oh, your luggage was in there too. That's right. Forgot about that. I remember you being late, but I'd forgotten about the that being why. So I am going to go get another leaf, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it before I go into, uh, I guess after I leave Rubus Tower. The idea being that if I die, if I get hit by, like, a vial shade or something, um, I can revive and pick up a leaf at once, rather than having to make potentially two trips.
I think it was the first one. I think you, uh... I think you just didn't, um... Give yourself a whole lot of time, and, like, you left late, and... I don't know, maybe they changed the gate or something dumb like that, but... I didn't really remember there being a good reason. Yeah, Ash, it's kind of nice. Boomers and our fancy cars, yes. It sometimes annoys me, because, uh, I should have used the Thunder Sword. Um, it sometimes annoys me, because sometimes I try to lock the door, like, when I'm getting grocery start groceries out or something like that, right? Like, um, I'll try to lock my door and then grab my groceries so my hands are full, and then close the door. But when the door is open, a lot of times it won't lock. If I'm outside the car, it sometimes will. It'll sometimes lock, like, when I close the door. But I usually need to double check to make sure it actually locks. Listen for it. Push button start is life changing. I mean, I don't think that would. I, I, I don't think I would literally care at all about push button start. 100% indifference. I've driven cars with it and. I think it's fine. Got a strong hero today. Oh, I didn't reorder my team. Uh, let's do it now. Free run. <laughs> yeah, same Ash. So two th sleeps or three? Two, we're fine. Don't even know what a clutch is. You know, I don't know what to say to that. So, <laughs> a clutch. So, in a in a car, there is a clutch pedal, and the function of the clutch pedal in the car is to separate the engine from the transmission, from the actual like drive line, from the wheels, basically. Um, and the idea behind the clutch is that you have. Uh, a friction material in the middle that keeps the two parts together. You've got a pressure plate that holds against that, 
and the pressure plate has these little splines on it. And there's a throwout bearing, which is like a circular piece of steel in the center. And when you push in on the clutch, it pushes that throwout bearing into the splines, which reduces the pressure on the friction plate. And, uh, oops, I thought this one was sleeping. Um, and effectively separates the wheels from the engine. So, like, when you were at a stop, if the wheels were connected to the engine, then the wheels are stopped and it would force the engine to stop and you would stall. So you use the clutch to stop, for example, to keep from stalling. You also use it when you're shifting gears because the speeds are changing. Technically, you can shift without the clutch, but... Dinosaurs already died out. Yeah. Anyway, that's what a clutch is. And clutch is like a general term, like car is where you frequently see them, but um, it, it, it is not limited to, oops, cars. Oops, don't sell that. A little messed up just because of my inventory order because I forgot to reorder my party. We're fine now, though. We're going to take the in. I took a bunch of damage along the way. Off to Rubus Tower. Had a fair amount of encounters in the Dark World so far, but they've also been mostly pretty easy. Don't accidentally cast outside there. I do still have to go get a leaf after this tower, though. Maybe that's what I should do. I should learn the swag Rubus Tower tiles and get the uh get those life seeds without using Toramana. Why did I learn Zomas first? Uh, I mean, I could make up a reason and say it's because doing it in Zomas Castle technically reduces your chance of getting an encounter, whereas it doesn't change it here. My actual answer is because it's longer and more complicated, and so I think it's cooler. Pick whichever one of those answers makes you feel better. <laughs> I 
the second one. All right. Meow. All right. You know what the funny thing is, is uh, if I had first tried by killed, I'd still be ahead of PB, even with the Baramos wipe. Isn't that funny? I think that's funny. I should give that to the hero. Do I have tiptoe on? I think I do. Yes, I do. Whatever, so we refreshed it early. wonder what your cats are up to. Being cats. Sleeping. Possibly causing mischief. You know, the things that cats normally do. I should stay healed while I'm in this water. Do not want Kragon. Kragon is bad meme. Getting pretty hungry. I haven't really eaten much today. I had a bagel with cream cheese and I had a banana. That's all I've eaten today. Am I feeling today? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I mean, this run isn't making me feel better because it's a meme. But yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm still, like, really cold. A little bit. Feverish, feverishness still. A little bit there, but I feel fine. My brain is working today. I was tired all day. I ended up calling out to work. Used, used it as an excuse to call out to work. I could have gone in. I was feeling well enough too, but technically, but I would I know I wouldn't have been productive. Cuz I was this morning I was still pretty pretty out of it. But not too bad. Overall it was like pretty mild, honestly. Mostly just the night of being tired. Tired and brain foggy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, what do? Nope. Uh, yeah, I guess do that. Uh, I guess we just kill the goopies first, yeah? That's fine. Don't care about the hagus. Don't get owned by the everything else. I did not play that super well, but... It's alright. I don't really know what I should have done in that fight. The weird one. Maybe Blast Sword and then Gira. And then. Blast Sword, Attack Hagu, Gira Goopies, Sleep Goopies. I think Sleep and the Goopies was still the right call. 
But maybe, uh, maybe I should have done the birds. Sleep is more likely on the stone man, but I did it on the salamander because it saves more time if it hits, if he decides to breathe. But it didn't work, but he didn't breathe, so it's a wash. Mm. We'll do the stone man this time since there's two. Still only hit one. That was nice though. Some MP. Yep. Started to move my hand to split and uh let a shinobiashi wore off. I always forget that it wears off like a step before I go inside with where I use it. I always think it's right after inside. But, uh, shin splints? No, not really. Eight Peace out. We're not fighting this nonsense. Okay, they're all gonna act and they're all gonna breathe. Probably was not worth the run. Nope. It's not the right person. Mage Warrior is in great shape. For HP. MP back on our sage, or as much of it as I need for now. Oops. Well, that's not what I meant to do. It's fine. I meant to hit defend and I accidentally tapped down and then up. And I'm going to the spell menu. Whatever. It's funny. Only a 5 MP cost. Not a huge deal.
That bum, please. Bum's been bothering me off and on this whole run. Now is not the time to act back up. Also, stop hitting the warrior. I mean, you can hit the warrior, but like, maybe not every time. This has been an okay Zoma's Castle so far. That four dragon fight really bled a lot of time, but Titans were good and everything else has been okay so far. This is gonna have to be the world's fastest boss rush in Zoma fight if it has any chance of like PBing. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a chance of PBing. I think technically it does. Like if you looked at my fastest times ever. I can save two minutes. But fairly sure it's effectively impossible. Like I said, I'll be I'll be happy if the sub threes. Sub three with a Baramos wipe. And a fourth try by kill. Mm-hmm. These are all the kinds of things you expect to happen in a race, so... <laughs> Again, if my race goes this well on Saturday, I'll have no complaints. Ted Ortega, man. Great. Had to be careful there, because a Marizoma on Hero would have killed him. I probably should have used Hero to expel the... ...idiot, but... HP. Oops. I do need to ring before boss rush. Belief. Pray ring. Should drop to warrior. Kenjinoishi. This should be our last fight before the boss rush. We've had really bad at spell lock this run. Rush start. Good, increase one off first. 
Breath is good. Double breath is fine. You didn't use a ring. Send with a warrior this turn. Lots of physicals. Oh, should die this turn. Good. He's fine for Bomus. Uh, I hope. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Like, do I have MP for Sap? Yes, yes, I do. damage we're going to take in the meantime. Good turn order. HP on Hero and Sage are both a little low. Not terribly low. But a little low. Um, I can do that. Guess somebody else better start a timer at some point, because, uh, this one's not gonna. Sounds like a perfect time for an evil Ash near run to me. It's slow. He keeps taking two actions. He doesn't have to.
Oh, he's big streaming. Cool. Well, PB is officially dead, but let's make the best of this. Hello? What a meme. Uh oh. Double wave? Okay, we can get by with that. Don't own Hero, though, please. So many physicals. All this guy is doing. Weird turn order, but nor something more of a slap. I don't know. Hell of a slap, if so. Hero's a little bit in danger. I could have defended with him here. Alright, that's good. I've been doing pretty decent damage. It's been also taking a ton of damage. But, I mean, that means I'm doing a lot of blade armor damage, too. I'm more worried about the turns ahead of Turtle. There were a couple turns in there where I just, uh... Couldn't do anything. That hurts. This is risky. Somebody's at risk. Okay. Um, Hero has to defend on this turn, though. Dodge. Taking a little bit of a risk not healing Hero here, but we're doing good damage. Let's keep it going. Honestly, we're probably really close. There we go. 
So it'll be a 257. My second best run ever. With a four, <laughs> my second best run ever with a fourth try by kill and a Barimo swipe. God, I love this game. <laughs> Thanks to the GGs. It, I had the most ridiculous grind I've ever personally experienced. It was basically nothing but metal slimes. If Baramos had behaved, this would have been a whopper. And like a 251 or something. But you can what if all day. Don't care about what could have been. Like I said, the goal of this was race practice, and the plan was to do a no reset regardless of what happened. And we did. Excited to go make some dinner after this. Throw some pork ribs in the air fryer. Let's, uh, let's do the speedrun breakdown real quick. Magic Key. Magic Key was fine. Uh, I almost wiped before Asalam. I had three people die on the way to Asalam. Other than that, Magic Key was pretty much fine. Kandar 1 segment was good. I took a couple questionable fights that maybe I should have run from. Um, and Hero died on Kandar 1. Hero got crit on Kandar 1, so that sucked. Uh, so I had lost time on Kandar too, because Hero was both underleveled and I had to revive him. Um, I don't really know what happened on Garuna Inn. I think just encounters outside the pyramid. Sage was really fast. Again, nothing but metal slimes. And then we got to 20 really fast on Mage Warrior, or on Mage, and decided to save Scum. And it's a good thing we did, because we missed by kill three times. So that was a fourth try by kill but a really, really hot pace at that point, even with all that. Um, had a pretty slow Gaia's Naval. And we also lost the mage in walking to Mirror of Rock Cave. Had to revive. Necrogon was so-so, but Orochi 1 was very fast. Orochi 2 was pretty average. Um, we reset to Baramos. I saved before going in, and we reset on him because Sage got confused. Sage didn't wake up from confusion. Hero died. Sage still didn't wake up from confusion. So we just bopped reset. Went back in and did it again. Dark World was pretty fine. I had to get another leaf because I did use Wonder and Baramos. Um, but overall, Dark World was pretty decent. I'd say average. A little above average, maybe. Um, Zoma's Castle was mostly good. We had a... Uh, a four times dragon fight on the first floor that I failed to run from twice, so that was pretty slow, but Titans were good, Boss Rush was good. Baramo Zombie was actually a little slow. Um But yeah, nothing major, just like a pretty average Zoma's castle, I'd say. And then the Zoma fight itself, five minutes. Like five minutes ten seconds? That's pretty fast. I normally think um I normally think of, uh, like, six minutes as being six to six thirty. 
being like an average Zoma fight. Anything under six minutes is pretty quick. So, 510. Great. So this final time shouldn't be a 257.20-ish. Vic just resets, so you have to use the timer on the oven. Oh. What a shame. Ow. A little sore. We said only three minutes after you requested he not do that. It's funny. Let me check who's streaming. I'll probably host Vic. Let's see if anyone else is going. Any DQ boys or anything? Danny B's doing OOT glitchless unrestricted. Cheese is doing OOT 100% no SRM. It's cool to see him back to that. Not that I watch Cheese a whole lot, but... Lots of rando. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll host Dick once this is all said and done, but I feel pretty good about this. I feel like it was a good de-rust. All ready for the race this weekend. As a reminder, a DQRTA marathon coming up weekend. Big DQ3 race on Saturday, DQ1 race on Sunday, and a bunch of other cool runs too.